This morning, Governor Phil Scott and his administration gave updates on the current state of flood recovery efforts happening across Vermont. That's right. Officials say they are doing their best, but all the rain that we've been getting isn't helping them make any progress. NBC 5 Stephen Biddix is live in Waterbury tonight with more news from today's update. Stephen. Yes, Liz and Alice, the state officials say there have been just around 200 rescues since the start of last month and roughly 160 evacuations. And all of those are way more than the last handful of years combined. We need to be, be at a point where the conversation is more about recovery, mitigation work, and revitalization. Vermont's recovery efforts from July's historic floods are still in full swing, but persistent rain is slowing progress and leading to more evacuations and rescues in one month than the last handful of years combined. This brings the number of lives rescued to 216 in the past month. Additionally, teams have assisted with 162 evacuations. For context, a normal year sees approximately six or so rescues and approximately 30 evacuations. 211 has received roughly 6,000 reports of damages with a third coming from Washington County. Roughly 4,500 Vermonters have applied for FEMA assistance, which has led to millions given out. 4,535 residents have applied for assistance resulting in over $11.6 million in financial aid. But despite recent severe flash flooding, localized flooding necessitated the evacuation of 35 individuals. Rutland and Addison County still do not meet the threshold to become a part of the FEMA individual assistance program. Typically, FEMA will look at the storm system, one storm system, and that's the event. This is a little different. Um, we have had multiple, multiple systems uh, that have came in rapid fire after the, the uh, initial event and created more damage. But everything has to come to an end in, term, in FEMA's eyes. Right now, the recent damage in both counties is classified under a new storm, but the timing of the back-to-back -back weather events means another disaster declaration is not out of the question. Um, we're in unusual times, but by FEMA standards, we have to contain this and end it sometime and we may have to seek another declaration if we if we can meet that threshold and now for the rollout of the vermont strong license plate state officials say they will have more updates on those next week and that's when you could potentially begin placing your orders but for now we're live in waterbury stephen biddix nbc5 news